Welcome back in. 613 is our time. It is time for For the Culture. Where we'll highlight DC area traditions, history and cultural issues that matter. And this week, we're traveling from DC to the University of Delaware. Michael Quander shows us how students and researchers are working to preserve a piece of DMV history that was left neglected for years. It's easy for, for history to get lost. It said every picture tells a story, but the history behind these photos remains a mystery. When you look at these photographs, people are dressed up. The pictures, mainly depicting black people, were found abandoned and given to the University of Delaware with little to no explanation. They stayed in a box in a photographic studio and it was labeled moldy photographs. They went untouched for years. Well, that was until Julie McGee got her hands on that box. She would soon discover the value of these 53 pictures was worth much more than their label described. The photographs range from late 19th century to early 20th century. The photos had no names, no descriptions, and they were badly damaged. But McGee, a professor of Africana Studies and Art History, used the pictures to teach students how to preserve, archive, and research a piece of history even when you don't have much to go on. In the end, it was a profoundly moving and educational experience. Experience for, for all of us. Students and researchers use a series of clues to discover more information. They found that the people were most likely middle class, not from the same family, and the photos were mainly from Maryland, and at least one of them was from Washington, D.C. And it's a, it's a lovely photo because uh, it features a woman and two children. Jesse Erickson coordinates the university's digital collections. They're sort of in their Sunday best, and they're looking great, and it just it, it's, it's a powerful image. Powerful because these images would have been taken just years after slavery ended in America at a time where racism and segregation were still running rampant. Uh, oftentimes uh, black folks were portrayed in really racist uh, lights. We were predominantly impoverished and uneducated and all the stereotypes that come with that. These pictures tell a different story. It shows us an example that we did live with dignity and we did live with a certain level of civic responsibility as, as portrayed through these images. Um, and I think it's, it's really important for us to, to reclaim that. The University of Delaware is now hoping to reunite those pictures with their families. And there's so much more to this story that we couldn't fit at all there. Uh, you can log on to our website, WSA9.com, to see the entire clip. And also, we want to hear from you. As always, if you have an idea for our For the Culture segment, just simply hit up Michael Quander. You can see on your screen right now the ways to contact him. Easiest way is probably by email, which is mquander at WUSA9.com.